Hi, my name is Daniel, and I have the 1974 uh, MCI bus that I'm asking for 35K. Diesel generator. It has its own fuel tank. Doesn't is not hooked up yet. Needs a battery and a muffler. The uh, house batteries down below. There's four new 12 volt batteries and two 6 volt batteries connected in series. So there's a 300 watt solar panel okay, up this on is the roof. Fresh water tank, 100 gallons. And then I have a 137 gallon stainless steel gray and black tank. I have a 20 gallon electric heater Follow me here. for hot water. You go on inside. So please come on inside. Hi, I'm still here. This is the, uh, the interior. As you can see, this is not a stock dash. It's customized. I have flex steel uh, captain chair and co-pilot. I have flex steel couch. At this Hello. time, I um, would like to run this thing for you. I'll start it right on up. It's the first time I started in about two, three months. And it's, uh, it's run by a, a Detroit Diesel 8V71. Uh, and it uh, has four fans to keep it cool. Um, you can see this very reliable engine. I have 137 gallons of uh, fuel reservoir too that gives me about a thousand mile rated range. Never have used it because uh, uh, I'm happy right around camping around here in Northern California. Okay. I also have a backup camera as you can see right here and I also this thing has power steering and it's a four-speed automatic Allison transmission. As you can see right here. And it is a regular, regular bus, but this is a conversion that I took eight years to build. You can see I have an AC panel up here. I can run the uh, refrigerator, the air, front air conditioner, as well as the hot water heater from these switches. And this is the AC panel, the generator set system. A 40,000 BTU propane heater here, and it'll heat this bus up quite quick, quickly. Large sink for the kitchen, right here, and I have a convection um, microwave oven as well. I, as you can see, I don't have an oven here, but this is the oven. I also have a 10 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator that uh, and also here's the panel for the 300 watt for controlling the 300 watt uh, solar panel up on the roof and this is the I also have an inverter a 3000 watt inverter inside down below and this is the DC panel all the lights are DC pan, uh, DC uh, power, power I have a propane stove and uh, you can see plenty of storage here. Big drawers, as you can see, all made. So I made. I'd like to show you the. This is the potty chamber. That's what I call it. It has a uh, porcelain toilet and a, and a uh, boat, a marine type opening porthole, as you can see here. I also put a fan. You'll hear it as well. I'd like now to show I'd like you, to show you my, my pride and joy is this shower. This shower took a lot of work. All of these are two inch core, uh, tile and I put RTV around each and every one. There's no grouting uh, because it'll crack the walls are inch and a half thick. And you can see that I have, this is my favorite part right here is this shower head. And it works it's quite well. I can turn it on if you wish and I'll do it right now. It works quite well, like a, a regular home shower hole as well. I also built these cabinets 
And this is this closet right here and great big drawers for the linen and whatever else you would like to put in here. And I also have a granite topped bathroom sink and I, uh, I liked metal, brass, copper, stainless steel. I love that the textures Tile of the steel. Four, 15 inch squares and I put this down here in the middle strip. I use a lot of recycled material building this thing. By the way, this is a jacuzzi tub. Okay, as you can see, I also built this thing because I spent a lot of years in, uh, I owned a boat. And so I built these pocket doors and uh, there's one there and there's one right here for the bedroom. This is a queen size bed and it does lift up and there is more back here. And I also have reading lights that my wife and I like to read at night. And she also has her own nightstand as well as mine. I have it here. And here's the little spaces. There's one there's a little opening down there as well. <coughs> See? So I have two air conditioning units. I also have two air conditioning units. And my wife likes to kind of keep it cool here. And this. Uh, two AC units are 15,000 BTU, uh, uh, BTUs. It keeps the bus really cool. And that's uh, about it. If you can turn around, I'd like to show you the length of it toward the front of the bus. Okay, now this, I'm on the street side of the bus, and you can see the paint. I had this bus painted about five years ago, and it's an old stainless steel bus, and um, it's 40 foot long. I also wanted to show you that I have the wheel, and all the tires are, are aluminum rims with a lot of tread on the tires, a lot of tread. I have six tires. These two are new. 